hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video of uh, how to become a ninja developer so in the last video we talked about uh, writing the tests because if you want to be a ninja or if you want to be a good developer then you should be able to write your test for your apis uh, unit test for your controller services for your backend application so either uh, we can take an example of a nest js application where you are writing a unit test for the controllers for the services for the modules or a simple express app where you are just writing a simple router so you should be able to mock the router and you should be able to execute the methods or end-to-end -end test for your apis which you have written like this is the place where we were writing the apis right end-to-end -end tests for our application and a simple test for our functions now in this video i'm going to talk about simple unit tests for the react app because we are using the same jest library and i'm going to talk about very simple examples let's say this is a simple example and i will just try to explain the code which really simple uh, if you are a react developer then you can easily understand the code it's just using a use reducer you can see here i'm using state and dispatch and it is calling you it is using this hook use reducer and let me just zoom in the the font size if i can so what do we have here i'm just using this use reducer hook and it has a, it has a current state and dispatch so whatever is in the the we should be able to dispatch the actions and reducer will handle that action and will return as the new state which will be populated here so currently state dot is confirmed is false because this is the initial state it is false then we are showing waiting for confirmation and when you click on to this button we are dispatching this action success and that is dispatching this action to the reducer which is going to return is confirmed true so if is confirmed is true then you should see on the document on the the home page here it the message will change to the confirmed right so this is a simple use reducer hook how can we test it because we already know this is the component you should be able to mount the component and when you click on to this button this message should change that is the test so we just need to trigger a click event onto this button that should be that should do the job right so what we need to do in the tests so this is our test file this is the fire event we are going to use because we need to click on the button to test first of all render so we will just import this component first import uh, let's say example component from so here we are importing it from app okay and what we need to do is we can just describe okay what we are going to test here it uh, block should show okay what should be the message should show confirmed so what happens is it should show confirmed message it's your confirmed message on button click okay my keyboard is behaving weird should show confirmed message on button click okay so this is just a simple expression this is just a simple message which we are expecting and here we can just write a callback for this and here we will write our assertions right so first of all we will render it so we can just call the render and here we can render the component this is how we write the the tests example component okay and here is get by text this we can import get by text and we can just expect something that uh, initially we should see this message waiting for confirmation right get by text expect get by text and this is expression right because uh, we should be seeing something like waiting to be in the document right because this message should be in the document to be in the document okay what is the message to be in the document so whenever we are rendering this component 
this waiting message should be there on the browser that is the first test and then what we are doing is we are doing a fire event fire event dot click we are doing a click event see click on on where we can just do that particular download by get by text and we are doing it on the confirm so here i can just to confirm because we are doing click on to that so we are actually extracting the node back by text and we are triggering a click event once you do the click event we can just write another assertion is get by text we should see this get by text uh, confirmed should be in the document right this should appear in the document confirmed and we can just do the same thing to be in the document okay simple test right now what this test is saying is initially when you render it i'm just extracting that using get by text get by text is a utility method which is provided by testing library and we are just checking that this waiting expression is there on the document when you click on to this confirm then confirm should be inside the document that's just a label we are just testing right so we can just run the tests there should be a way to run the tests let me just check okay here we can run the tests i need to click on to this so this is just a simple test we executed it's not run. running the test shoots okay something will appear so this is just a simple test we have written now the same type of test you can write for your components what you do is you have the react components and you are writing some assertions to check okay this is the initial state and now when you click on to the button you trigger a fire event and now your state has changed to this so similar to that example we can also talk about another simple example of this input text field what this input text field is saying is okay this is the input text field which should accept the the numeric input and it will automatically prefix the the numeric value with the dollar let's say if you're typing anything it will prefix that with a dollar so the code is written like this here you can say this is the input field and whenever you are changing anything so there is a on change event we are triggering handle on change and you on the on change what we are doing is we are getting first a current value okay and then what it is doing is from the current value if you are already adding the dollar sign it will remove that and it will add the dollar sign if the dollar sign is not there you can see so first of all remove the dollar sign if you are adding it it is checking okay value or uh, character zero is dollar then slice it otherwise return the value and then if uh, that's not a number return empty if that is a number then set the value which is added uh, with a dollar symbol that's it right so whatever you enter it will have a dollar sign uh, appended to it so this is a simple test right so what we can how we can add the tests for it so i did a simple setup this is just like a pure very vanilla example which we are doing is so here we are doing setup is we are just first of all rendering the component and then we are getting the input field so we instead of writing this again and again in all of our all of our tests we can just set up this so we can call this setup and we will get our input field so instead of writing these two lines everywhere again and again we can just write the setup and then here you can do i can i'm just doing a fire input fire event on this input text field this is input text field which i'm getting by label text so what is the label text here area label which is cost input based on that i'm trying to capture this uh, input text field so there are different methods available by the testing library using which you can actually capture a dom node and then you can do a fire event change event all those events you can trigger on that so here i'm doing a change event on this text field and i got the text field node by calling this screen dot get by label text i got the input text field i will do a change event and passing the target value 23 then once i'm passing this then output which i'm expecting should be dollar 23 because it should automatically prefix the the value with the dollar 23 now next test is 
let's say I am prefixing already a dollar value here. Whatever it is, even if you are entering a dollar, then uh, it will not add a double dollar symbols. It will keep it and you will just say, let's say you are entering something like this. Right. So if you are entering it like this, then first it will remove it and then it will append it. It's on dollar symbol. So you will get the same value as an outcome. Let's say you are entering uh, no non numeric values. So let's say you are entering something like, okay. Hello which is not a number right so in that case you will get this empty so these are like uh, some of the unit tests you can execute and you can run it i'm not able to run it because this code sandbox doesn't allow now you need to use the cloud sand sandbox the vm environment to run the these react tests but this is how we will be writing the tests now this is very simple right here first you are entering a 23 so output will be dollar 23 here you are entering a dollar 23 the output will be dollar 23 here you are entering a string so the outcome will be empty you cannot enter a string right you can enter only numeric and it will prefix that with a dollar so these kind of a tests you can write for your react application i'm not talking about okay just talk uh, just write uh, very basic tests but the those functionality which which are crucial you can write the unit test for that and uh, you can use react testing library similarly there is angular testing library of same flavor so these are the the libraries which are popular and useful for testing the ui component so here in both the examples we wrote some ui components in react and then we are writing the jest tests for that jest is a runner and react testing library using that we are writing these assertions okay so that is simple i don't need to talk in depth there is already a course uh, which i covered uh, which which talks all about testing so, so i will just add that link here